Welcome back to Exodus 22. Today we're looking at verses 22 to 24. Let's read it. You shall not afflict any widow or orphan if you afflict him at all, and if he does cry out to me, I will surely hear his cry. And my anger will be kindled, and I will kill you with the sword, and your wives shall become widows and your children fatherless. Okay, so quite an interesting line here. It sounds pretty severe, you know, like God has got the big stick out and he's going to go out and smash some folks with it. But listen again to what we have here. You shall not wrong a stranger or oppress him. That's verse 21, 22. You will not afflict any widow or orphan. This is, this is beating up on people, exploiting them uh, just because you can. Like you're the advantaged person and the other person is... Uh, substantially disadvantaged, and so you're talking about orphans and widows. They don't have any way to sustain themselves, to provide for themselves, and so God says, look, if you if you treat them badly, uh, I will kill you, and your, your own children will be orphans. Your own wife will be a widow, and so there's kind of an eye for an eye thing going on here, right? Again, the lex talionis again. And it sounds pretty severe, but I mean, look at what this does. It, it lifts the value of uh, human dignity, human life, and it says treat everybody like you'd want to be treated. This is Jesus, the golden rule, you know, treat others as you would like to be treated. That's what this is. And so he's just making it a very uh, firm line. You know, you might sit up and pay close attention. Uh, oh, they're going to kill me if I don't treat them well. That, that's, remember, he's training ex-slaves out of Egypt. They're just a few weeks out of Egypt, relatively short period of time out of Egypt, and he's trying to get them into a totally different paradigm than the Niles of God, the frogs of God, the beetles of God, and, you know, he's trying to bring them to a different place. So what's going on here? Well, God is telling them through his servant Moses, the orphan and the widow, they have a redeemer. There is someone who's there to stand for them. God is their protector. He is their helper. He's the vindicator. And so this is, a, God does not leave people to just crush and just, you know, wither away under a bridge and, and die. You know, if people get out on, and string themselves out on drugs and mess themselves up and, and, you know, choose the wrong way, even then God's mercy comes after them. But, but what I'm looking at here is, God is, is lifting up good behavior. He's saying, treat other people like you want to be treated. And if not, remember that the way the universe works, we wouldn't use the word karma in Christianity, but this eye for an eye thing really kind of has a place in God's, God's uh, system here. Good begets good, evil begets evil. And so God is trying to bring his people up higher, treat everybody really good. Notice he says, if he cries out to me, and I want you to realize then that God is on call. For the person in need, God is on call. If you're a person in need today, God is on call. He's waiting. He's waiting to hear from you. And if you are a, an orphan or a widow, you will be uh, helped. God will find a way to come to your benefit, your rescue. So again, this begets reciprocity. This begets empathy, treating others like you want to be treated. It's nothing bad about this. This is all good. This is, this is if, if the world was this way, uh, we would be a dramatically superior civilization. I've got a little bit piece from Hamilton's commentary here I want to share with you. Modern readers of scripture are sometimes jolted, like when they read in the Psalms and it says some, you know, some very vicious kind of a thing uh, sounding. But what happens when it comes right out of God's mouth? Because right here, God is coming right out of God's mouth. I'm going to kill you. And he says that God lives by lex talionis. The punishment matches the crime. Mistreat a spouse, woman, or a parentless child, and watch what happens to your own spouse and children. It's page 413, Hamilton's commentary. So no, we haven't left the lex talionis. Uh, things are all linked together, and there's an outcome that you want. And so treat other people like you want to be treated. It works in the New Testament. It works in the Old Testament. It's the way of the universe. See you tomorrow morning.